everybody, it is time now for Let's Talk College Football. Nothing but college football as we get ready for the week entering October the 22nd. Time does fly by when you're enjoying college football, which we all do, as you know. Coming up, we will review my five picks from last week, which was just absolutely atrocious, but plan on making up for it this week. Also, too... Good, bad, and the ugly for college football, but we begin the show with thumbs up, thumbs down for the Big 12. Of course, thumbs down to my Oklahoma Sooners, looking pretty good. Got off to a good start against Kansas State, and they made it hold up in an impressive offensive effort against the 11th-ranked defense in the country. With over 500 yards total of O, and that meant great day for Baker Mayfield, and that meant also, too, a terrific day for Joe Mixon, and for the Oklahoma defense, playing terrific too. Oklahoma wins impressively over Bill Snyder's K-State squad. And thumbs up to the West Virginia Mountaineers remaining undefeated in the Big 12 and undefeated overall, not just beating Texas Tech, but beating them badly, uh, winning by a 31-point margin. So the Mountaineers continuing to climb that mountain toward success. And thumbs down. Kind of goes hand-in-hand hand with Texas Tech. Look, if the Raiders lose this game and play hard and are competitive, that's one thing. But I mentioned it before, and I'll say it again. When was the last time you saw Texas Tech get held to 17 points at home? Yeah, yeah it's, it's been a long time. So the Texas Tech Red Raiders were all kinds of out of sorts to give West Virginia credit. But for the Red Raiders, it was a pathetic performance. And thumbs down to Iowa State. The Cyclones, just when you thought they were making offensive progress, well, guess what? They only score single digits against a team that had been giving up anything and everything against virtually everybody this year, and that's Texas. They made Charlie Strong look like a defensive genius as Texas wins, but again, Iowa State, where was the offense? When we saw the offense play well against Oklahoma State and also, too, against Baylor, but they were a no-show in Austin and Iowa State, well, pretty much SOC, Samuel Cyclones. It is time now for the good, the bad, and the ugly. We're going to limit to one subject, basically, for the good, for the bad, and the ugly. For the good, Alabama. Wow. Um, right now, they're so good that you can't really put anybody else in their category. They're number one for a reason, because they're damn good. And they showed it against Tennessee, not letting up. Winning in Knoxville, being able to name their score and doing it. Bad, we're going to stay in the SEC with Georgia. Now, I wasn't expecting Kirby Smart to have Georgia as a national championship contender this year. But then again, I didn't have them losing at home to a team that had not won a conference road game in forever in Vanderbilt. Georgia, what the hell is wrong with you? The Bulldogs lose at home to pathetic Vanderbilt. And, yeah... Probably give Kirby Smart a pass for this first year, but you expected the Bulldogs to be a lot more competitive than what we saw between the hedges last Saturday. And for the ugly, the Big 12 Conference, they decided this week, hey, you know what? We're not going to expand. We're going to keep it at 10 teams, and we're going to continue to have people laugh in our face. Ha, 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 ha. Forget the fact that we were serious about expansion earlier this year. In particular, this summertime, we interviewed so many schools out there. We wanted BYU, we wanted Cincinnati. Hey, Houston, one of the biggest TV markets in the country. We were interested in them as well. What's wrong? The Cougars are so competitive, Big 12, that you're afraid to bring them in their league because they might actually do well and beat a lot of the competition? What's the problem? The Big 12 said, no, we're just going to keep it at 10 teams, okay? And you know something? It tells you something too, when Iowa State's athletic director pretty much says that without Texas and Oklahoma, this league, you know what, it's pretty much like the Mountain West Conference. Well, that, that really says a lot right there. I wish this league would just crumble apart and just fall into the Pacific Ocean or the Gulf of Mexico. I don't care where the hell it falls. I'm so sick of the Big 12 and Oklahoma better not be in this league come the mid-2000s. Go to the Big Ten, go to the SEC, Make sure, Oklahoma, do yourself a favor, get the hell out of this league. It absolutely has no direction, has no competency, doesn't know what the hell it's doing, where the hell it's going. I mean, no wonder the rest of the country continues to giggle and laugh in your damn face. The Big 12 deserves the ugly, 
for having absolutely no clue how to run a league. I feel better now. <laughs> All right. Well, I was feeling better, and now we got to get into my picks for last week. And this could qualify for the ugly as well, but I did win one game, okay? We'll brag about that. West Virginia, I had them giving a point against Texas Tech, and, of course, they master-locked it with a 31-point win. But then that's where the good feeling stops, okay? Because the other four games, boy, I misfired badly. Kansas, you think getting five touchdowns would be enough? No, remember, it's Kansas. They lose and lose by more than 35 to Baylor. Iowa State, we mentioned them earlier. Uh, yeah, they failed to cover as well against Texas, so I'm a loser there. And Arkansas, oh, boy, not Arkansas, but Tennessee, excuse me. Arkansas will be for another day. The Tennessee Volunteers, not just getting beat, but getting beat in lopsided fashion. So, so much for getting the points for the Volunteers. Uh, Bama with the easy cover. And Notre Dame versus Stanford. Irish looked good for a while, and then the Irish did what they did best in the second half. And that is not play their best ball. And they did this game what they did four other times this year. Lost, and they lose to Stanford with no Christian McCaffrey. And the Irish still get beat. So Notre Dame was a three-point favorite. Yeah, so I gave the points and basically gave the game away. So one and four for the week, and I dipped below 500 for the year, 14 wins and 16 losses, and yeah, that's documented. But, you know something, let's focus on the present by talking about the games for this weekend. We're going to really dig into the archives, if you will, and we're going to dig into Army. Army this week is favored to beat North Texas by 18 points. A lot of points. But North Texas usually doesn't play well on the road. Army's having one heck of a year. One of the best teams they've had in a while are 4-2. So give me Army minus the 18. Nebraska should absolutely crush Purdue. Purdue might be the worst team in the Big Ten Conference. Nebraska undefeated at home, finding ways to win. And I think this week, no drama involved. They'll cover the 24 against Purdue. Arizona State at home against Washington State. We know something about Arizona State. At nighttime, at home, a very good team. I don't know if they'll beat Washington State, who's really turned things around under Mike Leach, but they'll keep it competitive, so give me the Sun Devils plus the 7.5. They're actually getting points. You have Oklahoma against Texas Tech. If you watch my weekly matchup show, you know that I love the Sooners in this one to cover the 14. Yeah, Texas Tech can be a shop of horrors, and at nighttime, it could definitely be intriguing with those fans. You know we'll probably have a little bit too much of that. That'll make it even crazier. As long as Baker Mayfield doesn't get too pumped up, oh, you should depend on that ground game. Everything else should take care of itself. Give me the Sooners minus the 14. And finally, sticking with the Big 12, West Virginia. Boy, they're on a roll, aren't they? Now they get to come back to Morgantown where they haven't played in a while, and I do think they take care of business against Texas Christians. So give me the Mountaineers minus the 6.5. That's my look, ladies and gentlemen, at Let's Talk College Football as we... Get ready for another fun weekend on the gridiron. Don't forget, my post game of Oklahoma Texas Tech will be out of a very late Saturday night, most likely early on Sunday. It's going to be a late kickoff uh, from Lubbock. And if you know anything about Oklahoma and Texas Tech, they'll put a lot of points on the board. And I'll probably make for a three and a half to four hour game, which means the game probably won't finish till around 11 o'clock at the very least. So don't be surprised if you see my post game again at OU Tech um, on Sunday. Thanks for watching. Let's talk college football.